a plate with a big bubble in it. So we can put uh, some liquids or some mm -hmm. olives in it. And it was very interesting to see because it was a big bubble and then they opened it up and it was like magic. I'm studying design and uh, architecture of interior. You know, at school we learn wood or metal or plastic, but never glass because it's too expensive. So glass lab is a huge opportunity. It's like a dream. I imagine and present pieces that I made with paper, so the challenge was to work with glass, but with the idea that it's a little bit like paper. The first part was to work with a really simple form, like this. Actually, it was quite a challenge with glass because the material doesn't react the same way. The fact that it's so fluid, so you can really manipulate it. I thought it would be more rigid. It was, I think, quite difficult the first time, and then they are so good that they imagine the good way to work on it. I just decided to work on the air, and that maybe glass objects are just a representation of something that we can see. Just basically the air and stuff moving and light. So I just would like to, to have a shape of something that can be instantaneous. The bubble which is coming from the oven is just amazing. No one can imagine that you can have plenty of different shapes with just the same beginning. No one has the same origins, but with the glass, it's like you can make pretty much everything just from this beginning. We are here to work and we are here to, to create, to, to make some stuff, and it's impossible to have this and work like this every time, but it was a great beginning, a great experience, and I think uh, it will continue, really.